isomerism so the isomerism is nothing but so the compounds which is having a same molecular formula but different structural formula so that we call it as a isomerism the butane the formula is c4h10 c4h10 it has the two isomers so they are normal butane and the isobutane okay so how to write the isomers is so butane is a from the name itself we can able to identify that it is from the alkane family because it ends with a and e so we should be make sure that all carbon atoms should have the single bonds single covalent bonds so there are four carbon atoms present we have to write all the carbons in a straight chain c single bond c single bond c single bond c so now first we have to write the all carbon atoms then we have to substitute the hydrogen atom so this carbon atom 1 2 3 4 so the four bonds completely it's filled this carbon atom is already have a two bonds with the other two carbon so here one hydrogen here one hydrogen again this carbon making a here one uh, c single bond c and c single bond c so two bonds already gone with this so this is making a one bond with one hydrogen here one hydrogen here so this carbon is making only c single bond c so it's it can able to make the three different bonds with three different hydrogen atoms on to three so totally 1 2 3 4 4 c four carbon and hydrogen 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 so 10 hydrogen atoms are present this we call it as a normal butane now the next one is the isomer so using this molecular formula c4h10 we are just going to rearrange the carbon atoms but that it should not resemble the same structure we have to write in a different manner that we call it as isomerism right so instead of writing the four carbon atoms in a straight chain we are going to write only the three carbon atoms so we are going to break the carbon atom chain so instead of writing four we are writing 1 2 3 three carbon atoms in a straight chain so the next one more carbon atom is left out that we have to place it in the center of the carbon atom okay so why we should not place in the first or the last carbon atom because if you are placing the first or the last c single bond c single bond c if you are placing over here again it resembles the structure so there is a continuation of the four carbon atoms c single bond c single bond c so four carbon atoms are in a chain but in this case only the three carbon atoms are having a chain and the one carbon atom we have made as a branching over here so this we call it as a isomerism the four carbon atom is also present and we have to substitute the hydrogen according to their particular valency so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 so 10 hydrogen atoms are present and the four carbon atoms are present so the name of this compound is isobutene okay next compound is a pentane pentane is having a formula c5h12 okay it having a three isomers okay so first one is so c5 first we have to write all the carbon atoms in a straight chain so c single bond c single bond c single bond c single bond c all the carbon atoms we have to write it in a straight chain and the hydrogen atoms we have to substitute in a, according to their tetravalency so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 so it has a c5 uh, and the h12 atoms next one the isomer is instead of writing the five carbon atom in a straight chain we have to write the four carbon atoms we have to cut down one carbon atom so 1 2 3 4 we have to write the four carbon atoms and the remaining one carbon atom either we have to substitute in the in this carbon or in this carbon both are same so we are going to substitute in this carbon atom c then we have to place the 
one two three because the carbon is tetravalent one two three four it's made of four bonds with this okay so now this we call it as a isopentene so we have break down the the carbon chain continuity so instead of making the five we have made the four again we can able to make the one more isomer so we are going to cut down one more carbon atom and we are going to write the one two three so the three carbon atoms in the straight chain the remaining two carbon atoms left out that two carbon atoms we have to place it only in the middle we should not place it in the first or the last carbon atom so we are placing in the second carbon this is the second carbon we are going to place one carbon atom here and the other carbon atom here down and we are placing the hydrogen atoms according to their carbon valencies so it also is having the formula c5h12 so the name of this compound is neopentane 